So you're looking to move to St. Petersburg in 2023? Well, in this video, we talk all things St. Petersburg. We discuss school, shopping, hospital, dining, and everything else in between. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Living with D. And if this is your first time, make sure to press that thumbs up button, show us some love and subscribe to our channel because we bring you community videos all throughout Central Florida suburban greater Orlando area and also Tampa and Tampa Bay area. And today's community video is all about St. Petersburg. So if you're looking to move to St. Petersburg, the zip code for St. Petersburg is 33701, 33703 to 33705. You also have 33710, 33712, 713, and 715. Now, in terms of the distance, you're just about an hour, 40 minutes to the Orlando International Airport. You're about 15 to 20 minutes to the St. Pete Clearwater International Airport. And then you are about 30 to 40 minutes to the Tampa International Airport and about an hour, 40 minutes to an hour, 50 minutes to the downtown Orlando. Now, St. Petersburg is a city in Pinellas County. It's located on the West Central Florida. It is actually at the very Southern tip of Pinellas Peninsula on Tampa Bay, and it's about 15 miles to southeast of Clearwater and about 20 miles to the southwest of Tampa. And those three cities actually form the biggest, largest metropolitan area right here in Florida. And it's also known as the Sun Coast region of, of Florida. Now let's talk about real estate, schools, shopping, dining, and everything else in between. So for all my history buffs out there, the city of St. Petersburg actually kind of dates back to 1875 when John C. Williams of Detroit, Michigan purchased some land in the area. He and Peter Dimmons, who actually built a railroad to the site in 1888, founded the city of St. Petersburg and it was named after Demon's birthplace in Russia, St. Petersburg. It also became a big area for a lot of Floridian retiring to this. So it's a big retirement community on top of that. Back to the video. So when it comes to real estate and real estate values right here in St. Petersburg, the average median price is about 410,000. The average sold price at the time of the shoot is about 400,000. You have all kinds of homes. You have single family homes, town homes, high rise condos. You have 55 plus communities. You have great mansions in the intercoastal water or right at the beach. So it really depends. You have homes and condos from about 200,000 to a big mansion like the one I'm standing right out of to about two or three million dollars. So it really depends. There's a lot of custom homes that are kind of built right at the at the intercoastal waters. You know, land is kind of scarce here. But if you know, if you are looking for that lifestyle, you know, it does give you all of that. And if you're just looking, hey, I want a retirement home, two bedrooms, two bathroom condo in a high rise, you have that. Or if you're looking to buy maybe a eight million dollar a condo at the 44th level, it's available that too. So if you are looking to build a brand new home anywhere in Central Florida and Tampa area, make sure to check out Orlando Home Show. That's where I bring you brand new models throughout Central Florida and Tampa areas. And this is pretty much, you know, all kind of real estate that we have right here in St. Petersburg. Now that the real estate is up, let's talk about hospitals, schools, shopping and dining. So when it comes to the healthcare system and the infrastructure right here in St. Petersburg, I'm standing right outside the Bayfront Health St. Petersburg Hospital, which is one of the major hospitals. It's right across from the John Hopkins Children's Hospital, which is one of the major hospitals mainly dedicated towards the children. Uh, you also are not very far, just about 30 minutes to the number one Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay General Hospital just down the road. So in terms of the healthcare infrastructure to take care of your day-to-day -day needs, whether that be a 24-hour center care, uh, a walk-in clinic or something, you have everything that is available to you in terms of your healthcare. Now that the hospital is done, let's talk about school, shopping and dining. <laughs> 
So as a father of two very young kids, I have two boys. I have a six year old. He is just getting ready to get into the second year. My little one who's three years, he's going to be four in November. He's going to get ready to get into the preschool. Having access to a great education system is really, really important. And it doesn't matter where you move to. You want to make sure that you have a great school infrastructure. So when it comes to school and university, you know, St. Petersburg has about 10 high school, 12 middle school, 41 elementary, 24 pre-K, four charter school and about 42 private schools. So to have a really good access to a variety of schools, most of the schools are nine or above as per the uh, greatschools.org. You have James B. Centerland School, which is from kindergarten to grade eight. Uh, you also have the Thurgood Marshall Fundamental School. You have the Bay Vista Fundamental Elementary School, Shores Acres Elementary. And then in terms of university, you also have the University of South Florida, St. Petersburg, just down the road. So I believe having access to that is really important. Now that the schools are done, let's talk about hospitals, shopping, and my favorite, diamonds. So when it comes to the shopping and dining scene right here in St. Petersburg, there's a lot of options. I'm shooting this right at the Sudiel St. Pete. Uh, there's an AMC theater right behind me. There's also a bunch of restaurants all around. Uh, you're also not very far from the uh, Tampa outlet malls. There's also the John's Pass Village and Broadwalk. You have the Tyrant Square Mall. So there's a lot of options when it comes to the shopping and dining because Tampa and St. Petersburg is kind of a, a melting pot for different uh, cultures. There's a different kind of cuisines you have Thai, Indian, uh, Italian, um, Japanese, Korean. So there's a bunch of different restaurants all throughout. And in terms of your day-to-day -day life, you know, your Walmart, your Walgreen, Winn-Dixie, Publix, Aldi, they're kind of all scattered throughout. And yes, we do also have Traders Joe. I hope our videos bring in a lot of value for you. If they do, press that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel. And if you are looking to build a brand new home anywhere in Central Florida and Tampa area, make sure to check out Orlando Home Show. That's where I bring you brand new models all throughout Central Florida greater Orlando and Tampa area until the next community video thank you for watching and guys don't forget to follow us on TikTok and also on Instagram until the next video thank you for watching bye for now